And you don't want to spend an arm and a leg for like where to live. You guys should start looking at, what was it? Ohio? Oh, two player would be nice. Oh, Iowa. Yeah, look at, if you don't care where you live in the States, you're just looking for somewhere you can afford, Iowa. That's honestly where we were looking. You want to come hang out with me in Iowa? I'll be there. You could buy like a mansion for like $300,000. It's so cheap there. I mean, that's probably where the next serial killer is going to be, but I mean, at least you're saving money. The real murder is the housing market. Here, Kensington. When I when I see the word Kensington, all I picture is Austin Powers. Mrs. Kensington. Uh, where are you, blind spot? Not, I, not yay Canada, not yay Canada. Well, you're in Newfoundland? Okay, so the pro, like, the interesting thing is that like, everyone's in the market, in the market of life for like profit. Why, why do anything? If you're not gonna profit, right? No, most people don't just want to coast and survive. So like, if you're gonna if you're gonna move out of Ontario to find a cheaper place to live, rent out that cheaper place and inflate the prices, you're gonna want to make a profit. And you're not gonna want to make a profit of ten dollars a year from the all that hard work you put into renting out the places. You're gonna want to make a couple grand, maybe 10, 20, 30 extra thousand dollars from renting out. So like, you can't really get mad at people for wanting to do that, but also at the same time, yeah, it does suck for someone like you who lives in that province. Do you know what I, do you know what I seriously think is a really good side hustle that I've that I've thought about lots and lots is like vending machines, man. Vending machines is really not that bad of an idea, man. Vending machines are not that bad. They just sit there and generate revenue as you go. If your vending machine busts, that does suck. But I think it only takes a few months for the vending machine to be able to pay for itself. So if you can get a good popular vending machine in a good location, you could pay for that vending machine breaking after a few months, I think. Anyone, does anyone here do vending machine side hustles? Soda and chips in the same machine. Do they do that? No, 
No way, man. I'd want a vending machine inside like a like a like an ice rink. You know what I mean? Something like that. I think the location is the hardest part, right? Here in Quebec, I see three, three and a half apartment for a thousand bucks. So three bedrooms and a bathroom, or three and a half bedrooms, one bathroom. Inside, well, maybe a smoke lounge, not a dispensary. Our tenant is paying 900 for five bedrooms, five and a half bedrooms with a garage. I don't understand what you're saying because apartments don't have a half bathroom. They would have one and they'd have one and a half bathrooms. One bedroom, one bathroom. So it's a one bedroom apartment. When you're when you're clarifying a one bedroom apartment, you don't have to clarify the bathroom in it because a one bedroom apartment almost always only has one bathroom in it and it's impossible for it to be a half bathroom. That would mean they don't give you a shower. A half bathroom is just a toilet. I've never, okay, so that's so interesting. I've never had somebody talk about a home and and clarify how many rooms are in the apartment. Does that matter to people? I thought most people just care about how many bathrooms and bedrooms there are. It must be like a Quebec thing. That That has gotta be a Quebec thing. I've never had someone be like, there's 13 rooms in the house. Um, 13 rooms, three bedrooms, you know what I mean? I've never, it's, interest it's an interesting way to describe uh, the apartment. It's an interesting way. That's why I, I that's why I didn't understand what you were what you were saying. So it's a one bedroom apartment for a thousand bucks. That's not bad. A one bedroom apartment here in Salt Lake City. A one bedroom apartment with a. And you're talking Quebec, so that's Canadian dollars. So that'd be like 600 bucks here. But in Salt Lake City, a one bedroom, one bathroom apartment is probably like 1400 bucks USD. So over close to 2000 Canadian. Yeah, 12, 1400 bucks. Especially if you want to get a decent size one, like a, like a one you like, you're proud of, I guess. Wow, just before the pandemic you paid. You paid almost half the amount. That's so that's good. So are you still grandfathered in? Is your rent still the same? The old grandfather? Southeastern Massachusetts, you're looking 2200 plus a month for one bedroom. Right? This is what I understand. How is this gonna hold up? How's the whole housing market just not gonna fucking explode? I don't understand. Maybe I'm a moron. Maybe I'm a moron, but I, I just don't get it. The jobs aren't paying enough for the homes, so... I mean, are a bunch of apartments gonna go broke and close down? I think that's what's gonna happen. Right? A bunch of apartment buildings are just gonna be like, we can't sustain this, we have to sell. We have to get rid of it. And nobody's gonna buy it. You think the government's gonna get involved with the with the renting process of life? Yay! More things the government gets their hands on. Don't 
Don't worry, guys. McDonald's gave you a $1 raise. Woo! Boy, I would love to be 18 years old again. Mmm. You know, there's one decent thing about our- There's one decent thing about our generation and not our parents' generation is that we don't have the stigma of, uh, Oh, you still live with your- You're 23 and you still live with your parents? Embarrassing. That's like a 70s thing, right? That's like a- That's like our- That's our parents' generation. It's like embarrassing if your kids still live with you. Now it's like, yeah, live with us because- you're, you're gonna waste your money out there. Like if I had, right now if I had like a like a 19 year old kid, I'd be like, no, you're staying here. Are you a fucking moron? You're gonna go out there and waste all your hard earned money getting scammed by apartment owners? I don't think so. You stay here, save up, then you can buy a house. And then your mortgage payments will be less than your rent. I would literally tell my kid that's the strat. But when I was growing up, it was always like, if you live with your parents by the time you're 20, you're, you have a problem. You have a mental disability. Your kid's a nobody. Seven fifty an hour. What do you mean? I'd love to be paid seven fifty an hour. I'm guessing I'm... You have to work 70 hours a week and my wife works 40 just to afford mortgage and such. If you live in America, you should definitely move then. Unless you have to drive to your job. It's not as easy to just get up and move. I get it. My first job when I was like 16 restaurant gig i was a dishwasher i was probably paid like maybe like 11 bucks an hour or something 12. that's in canada though so canada's a little different right just a little you guys know how it'd be how is everyone doing today by the way there's like five of us talking about the housing market and i feel bad that there's a there's a whole bunch of us here are you guys is the general public annoyed by this conversation? Because if so, we can definitely fucking switch it up. Just want to make sure everyone's chill. As long as you guys are vibing it up, just listening and hanging out. Alright, as long as you guys are doing good, then good. I just sat down, have lunch, so I'm good with whatever. Right answer. Ooh, I want to get one of those. What is that? Save yourself? They, they like, check your heart? Is that where... Do they inject you with stuff to see how your blood's pumping through your heart and stuff? I want that. I want to see how my heart's doing. I, so I the only reason I want a heart examination is because I did smoke for nine years. I've 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 quit smoking for six and a half years almost now, but I still, you know what I mean. You still have no idea what kind of damage smoking cigarettes does to you, you know. Yo, an ultrasound on your heart? I want that too. And how old are you, save yourself, if you don't mind me asking? You're 30? 
Did the doctors try and give you like, you're still young, don't worry about it now? And then you were like, no, no, no. I'm worrying about it now. Your mother-in-law smoked for the past 40 years? When you say it didn't cause her those things, does that mean she has passed now? She passed away, but it wasn't from smoking related? That's insane. She claims, I can imagine your mother-in-law is not being fully honest with her health conditions with anyone. If everyone in my life told me that smoking was going to give me cancer and then I got cancer from smoking, I wouldn't tell people that I got cancer for smoking for a long time, probably. I'd be like, I'm not listening to that. I told you so. Fuck that. I don't know if I would do that, but yeah. Yeah, there's a few hidden L's on the map here. The Hammer Brother has to move back here now. Like, this is great. Bro, take your mask off. It's not even Halloween yet. Bro, Marino, do you know what, Marino, do you know what my favorite quote was for your subathon? Do you know what my favorite quote? I was gonna tell you yesterday, but but you left. Do you know what my favorite quote on your subathon was? It's a good one. My work buddy died last year due to lung cancer from smoking. Man, smoking's a serious thing, dude. It's dangerous. That's that's essentially why I quit smoking too. I was just like not It just like wasn't I don't know. The way it was making me feel the the counter re the counter reward wasn't there anymore like how good smoking made me feel wasn't better than how bad smoking was making me feel three packs a day who does that how that's like a a cigarette every 10 minutes that's pure chain smoking You were watching the drum stream yet? Why didn't she say hi and talk? Yeah, my favorite quote during the subathon was, we should play games during my subathon. That was my favorite quote. Yo, thanks for the good luck, big boss. Yeah, I mean, if you guys are if you guys are a part of the drum stream, definitely say something, talk, hang out, don't be shy. 
I'm not doing Donkey Kong 64 rando. Yo, fuck that. Donkey Kong 64, that was the only game you finished during the subathon, right? You're the polys? I didn't do any polys yesterday. I was working on uh, the 30 grooves. I might have done polys for a second, like five minutes into the stream, but I spent probably like an hour and 45 minutes playing the same beat. Yeah, I didn't really work on any polys yesterday. Maybe at the beginning of the stream as like a warm up or something, but. The super slide. That's all good. I'm just busting your balls. He didn't finish any other 64 game. No, he finished Paper Mario. He finished Paper Mario, but he was so rushy at the end. He was just trying to get it done. I think I I think I watched most of the Paper Mario playthrough. I love Paper Mario, man. That game that game's amazing. Finished Jurassic Park? I beat Jurassic Park on the Treacherous Thursday, right? The stack sounds good. so good. Yeah, the dark stack I have. The dry stack. It's a good stack. Thousand Year Door better? Uh, it's not a thousand times better, no. Thousand Year Door is... Okay, so a lot of people are forgetting about Thousand Year Door because it is a good game, but a lot of people are forgetting that Thousand Year Door is fucking Backtrack City. It's a good story and a good game, but the original Paper Mario doesn't force you to do crazy backtracks and stuff. Thousand Year Door is getting remastered for the Switch. Yeah, so you might as well wait and play it on the Switch. Yeah. Thousand Year Door is fun, but yeah, dude, it's fucking backtrack. It's awful. It's awful. And I love Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I actually just played a ROM hack for the original Paper Mario. It's called Paper Mario 64 The Thousand Year Door. It's actually a really good ROM hack. You know what? I think the backtracking annoys um, future, like, I think backtracking annoys people who've played the game previously before because you want to get to the parts you like faster and you have, you remember the backtrack, but your first playthrough, your first playthrough, I don't think you're going to notice it as much. I think it'll be fine. It'll be fun. Mario RPG has a lot of backtracking too. Really? Not really. You go back to Monstro Town, I think, like twice, maybe, and that's it. Super Paper Mario is the best Paper Mario. I liked Super Paper Mario. I like how it had the action RPG element to it. But what I didn't like about what I didn't like about Super Paper Mario is like being a completionist and like it. You like to look in every nook and cranny. But, like, you literally have to change the map every scene, and it's annoying. Like, doing every room 2D and 3D gave me a headache. 
Yo, Slade, thank you very much. Slade, I saw that picture of you flying a plane. Pretty cool, man. Any plane, any plane flyers in chat? There's bats on my screen? You better watch out. They're chasing Mario right now. You flew on a plane yesterday? I flew inside a plane yesterday. No, I didn't. I haven't flown in a plane in a while. But I will be going to GDQX in like a week. Also, GDQ, AGDQ is releasing their games list in like eight days or some shit. Wait, filthy ass stream room? Whose stream room is filthy? Oh, I guess if I have the cobweb and the spiders. No bat, take it easy, bud. Oh, come on, move your, move your tushes. What does the X stand for in GDQX? Extreme. I don't know what it stands for. Express. Extreme, extravagant, extra, extra, read all about it. And <laughs> any read all about it errors in chat? It's too much, it's too much. A word from our sponsor, ExpressVPN. GDQ 10? Nice, that's good. It's good for my boy Mario. Slade was delivering newspapers in his stream just now. Slade, what did I tell you about the newspapers? Okay. Maybe I don't know. Did you start in 2013? Did I start what in 2013? I start streaming or gaming or... Yeah, I'm doing the run with the Haxer. Yep, that is correct. Oh, did it start? Yeah, GDQ started in 2010, I'm pretty sure. Has there been one every year? Pretty much. I don't think they've skipped a year. No sick days for GDQ. Uh, they skipped one year and that was COVID. But they still did it online, I think. So how is GDQ X going to do the mask thing? I'm interested. It's like, it's going to be at TwitchCon, but they didn't do any vaccination mandatory things or anything like that. They normally do that for GDQ, so I'm curious the direction. Ow. They're still requiring masks at GDQ? Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't read anything about masks.
You should purposely go into battle mode against him in the middle of the run. What, Haxer? No. Yeah, TwitchCon isn't requiring mass, so I don't think... You're getting old, Marino? Well, fucking start getting younger. I, I have to say, though, I am impressed at your ability to push through Super Mario World. I have never in my life seen a 35-year-old man bad at Super Mario World who, who games their entire life. But you made it. You made it. You pushed through. You did it. 35-year-old Florida man, bad at Super Mario World. What was the what was the hack he was playing though? That hack looked fun. Yeah, 35-year-old Florida man, bad at Super Mario World. How is this possible? We must live in the one alternate reality where a full-time gamer is bad at M Mario World, who grew up in the era of Mario World. My favorite SNES game ever? I don't know. I don't really have a favorite SNES game. You almost got all the exits in two A's? Dude, that's like a four hour thing. Lion King? I don't think it's Lion King. Chrono Trigger, I think, would be up there for favorites, yeah. But yeah, I, I feel like my favorite SNES game would probably have to be like some kind of RPG or something, right? No! I had it too. Yoshi's Island? I hate Yoshi's Island. I don't like that game at all. Oh, Link to the Past! How can I forget Link to the Past? That game's incredible. I'm gonna give you guys the hottest take of 2023. And that is Yoshi's Island. That game sucks. Okay, that scared me. Yo, Braylon, welcome back for 55 months. Thank you. Any Super Adventure Island 2 enjoyers? Any enjoyer enjoyers? Is that even a hot take? It's a it's an important take. Blaster Master is actually a really good game. That is true. So I know it's a it's a brave take is what it should be. You guys gotta give me bravery credits for not conforming to the group of everyone thinks Yoshi's Island is good. Cause it's not. It's mid, how about that? Can I say that? It's mid. Yeah, can we get can we all agree that Yoshi's Island's kind of mid? I can't answer that. I'm still crying. Don't cry, my child. You'll play a better game soon enough. It shouldn't be too hard. Super Mario it's it, Super Mario 64 being the last good Mario game is a close. That's, that's actually not the worst thing you can say. But... 
Yo, any any overworld bumpers in chat? No, but in all honesty, Marino, good subathon, man. You did it. You made it. You made it work. Yoshi's Island and Mario Sunshine were games where Nintendo was experimenting. Bro, how much does Mandy hate me for busting your balls? Dude, Yoshi's Island. If Yoshi's Island was an experiment, what the fuck was Goldeneye? Yeah, Yoshi's Island, I, I don't care much about. The final boss in Yoshi's Island was okay. GoldenEye was a masterpiece? Yeah, until you play it 15 years later. Goose Moose, how's my goddaughter today? Dude, my my phone didn't even beep for the cell phone test yesterday. I just got, it was like a message. I was like, what is this? Get out of here. And how are you today, Amanda? How's how's life in Amanda and Vic's world? That's just being old. Yeah, guys, I I I have to stream now because I have to afford things for my goddaughter now. Can't be slacking off anymore. I have children to pay for. That's right. That's right. That's sub. Yo, thank you very much. Welcome back for 17 months. I really appreciate that. Thank you. I never played Dukem Nukem. No, I never played that. I know of it, though. I know of it. It's not Dukem Nukem? What the fuck are you talking about? Nukem? Nukem Dukem? First you Dukem, then you Nukem? First you nuke him, then you duke him. I love how you guys are buying it right now. I like how you guys think I'm serious. You guys are so sweaty to be like, oh my god, somebody said something wrong. When in reality, your sweat is what's embarrassing. Yo, hashtag gay sweat. There's only one kind of sweat in this world. That's gay sweat. Bionic Commando? I never got into that game, but I, I, I know it.
Apparently you have a lot of gay sweat. Nothing wrong with that, man. Hashtag gay sweat. You guys think gay sweat glistens more than straight sweat? I think it does. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> That's slate emote. Hi, just joined Sweat Glistening. Yo, any Sweat Glisteners? <laughs> any, any, any Sweat Glisteners in chat? <laughs> yeah, is anyone glistening in chat right now? My armpits are glistening from this speedrun. I tell you that much. You think it's easy for me to be out here straight sweating all over the place? <laughs> yeah, who's- whoever's not glistening here is getting banned. Is it a vertical or straight sweat? Well, my sweat's not gay because I'm straight. When you're working out, you feel like you're straight sweating? Well, working out's a serious thing, right? Yeah, I have a... I have white sweat privilege. Yo, good afternoon, Vanilla Godzilla. How you doing? Isn't Glisten the name of one of Santa's reindeer? In one of the other books, maybe. Back in my day, we didn't have to worry about all the gay sweat and how it glistens. I mean, you don't have to worry about gay sweat now and how it glistens, but you can, you know, acknowledge it. Yeah, if you put gay sweat under a microscope and zoom in, you can probably see like an uwu face on it. Yeah, gay sweat or straight sweat, I don't care. Wipe that machine off. I don't care who's sweating on it. Wipe it off. Um, how is everyone doing today, though? My goddaughter's a terror today, come and get her. She can come hang out at my house anytime. All right, 420 is the next bait card game. I should be able to get 12,000 here, so I go into this. I go in here, come back out. Also, what's going on, Maple Leafs Mama? What the, how did that spawn? No, I. it's true, it's flat four. I couldn't avoid it. I couldn't avoid it. I didn't have a choice. I thought it was 420. Apparently, I can't count in multiples of 60,000 because I'm a moron. I'm too busy worrying about gay sweat and straight sweat. I don't know what... I don't know what the fuck's going on. I 
I know, I, I really need to write down how much score each thing gives me. Is Luigi really getting the hammer, brother? No, he's not. Yeah, you have to avoid spade card games in the co-op. <laughs> Mitch not good at matchmaking game? I wasn't trying to match them. How you doing today, Tiff? Paper Leafs Mama, how you doing? Amanda, I swear to God, if Tiff came and one and done me message and left, I'm not coming back to my next birthday. I'm canceling. I'll cancel my own birthday. Okay, how many people here are watching The Devil's Plan on Netflix? I'm trying to tell everyone to watch the show because it's good. You'd really like the show. You just canceled our Netflix? Damn it! The show's good! Is Netflix going to cancel it? Uh, no, definitely not. Uh, The Devil's Plan is going to be arguably one of Netflix's most popular shows, guaranteed. It's just nobody knows about it yet. I don't know why or how. I guess Netflix was unsure at how well it would do. Can we have can we have my birthday at my house? Whoop! That was close, man. That was close. So I have to do a speed run of this game cooperatively with somebody else in Vegas in like two weeks. So I have to not be a piece of shit at this game. What's it about? Um, God, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like it's it's. Devil's Plan looks dumb. It's not dumb. It's not dumb. You know what? A trip to Vegas sounds fun right now. If you want COVID. I've never suggested a bad show to anyone. It's subtitle. What? Why? Who cares if it's subtitled? What's wrong with that? Yeah, they dub over it in English. You get to listen to it in English. You don't have to read it. Yeah, you don't have to read. They dub over, don't worry. They cater to Americans. Gotta get my jabs in when I can. Your girlfriend and you watched episode one of Devil's Plan and it was pretty good. The show is Korean, yep. Yep, it's a Korean show. I love it. I think it's great. 
It's like, it's like a, another take on like Squid Games, but not really. It's like weird. It's like exciting like that. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. Sus. It's true, it is pretty sus. The dumper. a good time passing the time with you, Mitch. Yo, thank you very much. Welcome back for 13 months. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Am I excited the writer's strike ended? I guess, how did it end though? What, what happened? Does the public get to know anything? No. That's it, it's over. The only question I have is when is Disney gonna fall? Rip is right! I need to not take damage there. Good luck at TwitchCon, thank you! What? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! I've never been- Oh my god, this is so fucking stupid. Alright, whatever. Whatever. No, Mar- You never played Mario 3 before? Two player? No, they don't have anything different. This, they have shared subpixels, yes. Yeah, that's a good question. That's a good question. Mario and Luigi subpixels are shared. So Mario could set up a subpixel for Luigi for like a clip or something. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Small Mario, best Mario. You know what small Mario is doing? Costing me a lot of time. That's what small Mario is doing. So, I'm so bad that I should have grabbed the power-up. I really fucked that one up. Mario's subpixels are red and Luigi's are green. Who holds the world record now? So, me and Haxer hold the world record for this in co-op with a 119.49, but I, by myself, through my practice, have gotten a 119.40, so faster by nine seconds. Now, it's not official because I did it by myself. In co-op, you have to play with another person. That's what makes it an official co-op category. If there was a category for like two player or something, then, 
I would have it, but unfortunately. Oh, I have to take damage here. <laughs> but I will say, technically, I have the fastest co op time because I'm still playing a co op run. It's just not official. I can't submit it. I can't submit it when I do it by myself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys get it. My sub pixel is bad. Damn it. I just spawned a spade card game though, so I'm good. Time for, yeah, I'm gonna miss 7-1 because I overexerted my sub pixel manipulation. Doesn't matter anyways. Bad, bad RNG there. gonna be scary. I would have died there. I would have died there if that plant spawned. How's the, uh, I mean, the windstorm probably moved the tree a bit, but I think the tree's doing pretty good. Yeah, how's your guys' tree doing? My Norwegian maple. Smoking that thick Norwegian bud. Yeah, man, what up? Uh, GDQX is in person, yes. I think, I think Amanda said that they were into Mortal Kombat right now. The, the remade Mortal Kombat 1. It's pretty cool. I haven't played it yet. Uh, I think I'm gonna grab a mushroom here due to fear. Is that fine with you guys? The scare mushroom? No! You fish! Quit spitting your babies at me! Look at this! Bloopers throwing babies at me! What is Mario- like, Nintendo's like, yeah, let's create enemies that shoot babies at Mario. Any baby spitters in chat? Any baby shooters? <laughs> they heard I was a good godfather. Yes, my no, 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 yes, yes, my no, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes. I must, yes, no, my yes, no, yes, no, yes. I must, my yes, no, my yes, no, 
Sea creatures, sea creatures, creatures are sea creatures. What? Come on, man! What the hell was that? The fish in the pipe? The fuck? That was bullshit. Yeah, laugh it up. So funny. Ooh, that's good. Yo, this level's gross right now. Good thing I- Yeah! Good thing I got that shroom! Thanks for not judging me on doing the shrooms. That's- that's actually true. It is really good that I got that shroom. Yo, the sea creature's revenge? Seven ads is a lot. No, it's not! She can't hear me though, she's watching it. Enjoy your ads, nerd. My own family gives me shit for ads. That's great. Can't win. You guys realize that an hour of television did 17 minutes of ads. I do three minutes of ads. I knew it. Nice try. Oh my god, thank god. Wow. Ooh, I dropped my controller. I was legit scared there for a second. So is this an automatic world record? No. This category is very hard, especially when you do it by yourself. Oh no, don't spawn the spade card at the pipe here. You're a son of a bitch game, you know that? That's so fucking cringe. I couldn't fucking avoid it, man. I would have had to like double cloud. That's so lame, dude. I was gonna save so much time in this world. Emma's yelling at me. She's probably telling me to go faster. I'm trying, Emma. I'm trying. I'm getting screwed over. Okay, so next time in that situation, I just have to... I don't even know how many points I could farm. Okay, we need 7-7 seven, seven here. Alright, throw your hands up, everyone. We'll try 7-7 seven, seven once, and if it doesn't work, that's it. That was close, actually. Oh, 
This was the first idea of Mario Maker, this level. I just remember when people were like, play my Mario Maker level, and it was some piece of, like, shit, and you had to, like, pretend like it was good. Yeah, it's good. I like it. Good level. I like what you did there. It's fucking garbage. Oh, I think I know what I'm doing wrong. I jump and let. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot how I did that level. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, Luigi has like a million clouds. Prime for two months. Welcome back. Thanks, Emma. You're really just giving Emma money. All right, Twitch chat. What do you guys... Okay, what does everyone here think is the responsibility of being a godparent? What's, like, number one responsibility? Grant wishes, presence, spoil the kid, yeah, babysitting, haven't done it once yet. If babysitting is, is involved, Kaylee can take over. They have, they have baby headphones though that you can use when I'm playing drums. We already looked into it. When babysitting, do the Home Alone traps. Little to nothing unless the parents die. Come on, Rob! That's... Wait, way to be dark. Don't be dark. Be the cool uncle? Well, I wouldn't be an uncle. I am an uncle though, but unfortunately, my niece, is that it? My niece lives in Canada. Back here again, on world record pace. We could get another one here. This could be a sub 119.30. We could get a 119.2x here. Oh! All right. All right. World record pace. We just got to get through world eight here. Look at all that green. All right. Uh, I got to wear gold chains. There's no one player, two controller category. That's known as something different in the gaming community. One player, two controller is normally one one player like the mode and two people holding one controller at once that's that's different in the gaming world now i know a lot of you like turn the other cheek but 
this is still a serious like world record. Like, this is still good. Like Teeks, Teeks and Stewie Cartman didn't beat this record when they just did co-op together too. So, it's. I mean, this is still. Well, I'm technically 20 seconds faster than what the current world record is right now. This is still a good run. All right, in short form, I want everyone's top three games of all time. And one of them better be... What What was that game we played on the weekend, Kaylee? Poison Murder Mystery on the Switch? Game's actually sick. It's shitty, but it's sick. Did you guys know the Nintendo Switch, you can go and get... You can get, like... Big titty hentai girl game on the Switch. And like, do you tell me kids can just go on the Switch and start playing hentai girls? I'm dead serious. Dark Souls is your number one top game of all time? That's disgusting, where? <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's disgusting, but I just thought Nintendo was all like, you know. Yo, Metroid Prime, that's what I'm talking about. Dark Souls has a seer. Marino, name one boss and then not the final boss in Dark Souls 3. How many times have you played that game? What, once? I love these games! Mario, uh, Mega Maker. Yo, Dark Souls 3 is actually pretty good. Dude, word has it that Kaylee's gonna start Dark Souls soon. She's just scared, because it's hard. Final Fantasy 6, Metroid Dread. Wow, Metroid Dread and Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Dark Souls is a very... intro to a new way of playing games that she's not used to. But I think, in terms of like other games like aiming a gun in Resident Evil is somewhat harder in a way than Resident Evil. Yo, Mega Man 9 is probably one of my favorite Mega Man games of all time. Yep. Mega Man 9 is so good. Easily one of the best Mega Mans out there. Rocky and Bullwinkle? That's a joke, right? Diablo 2? No, I haven't played Symphony of the Night yet. Maybe next subathon? You prefer Mega Man 10 over Mega Man 9? Really? Interesting. Best game Mario Maker 1? Yeah, best game if you hate yourself. Guys, we are nine, we are nine subs away. And I don't want to tell you what it's for, it's a surprise. Nine subs, that's it. I'd, I'd like to thank you all for doing pretty damn good. I know, I got pulled in by all three hands.
Guys, I don't think Mario has a cloud. Or Mario has a cloud. I haven't used a cloud with Mario. Mario should have a cloud. Whoa, that was close. The clouds look like projectiles. People say that the inventory clouds in this game look like teeth. I never got that. Getting pulled in by all three hands is actually kind of annoying. Yeah, I'm a teeth clouder. Any teeth clouders in chat? Teeth clouders. That level was hard, man, especially on world record pace right now. Get out of here, Mr. Sun. You like the spooky layout? Thanks. The bats are chasing Mario. All right, here we go. Come on, where's my cloud? Have a cloud. Okay, so the reason it says unknown world record is because speedruns.com itself does not have subcategories in the live split, like, code for, like, the overlay. If I go, if I do the official uh, category extensions co-op 100% through live splits, it'll show the any percent world record and their names. It won't show the 100%. They don't have the subcategories. Like, Warpless isn't there either. It, it has SMB3 co-op as its one and singular only category. So it doesn't pull... And I don't know how they fix that. I think a mod just contacts them and be like, Hey, can you create, like, live split subcategories, please? Very close to the end. That's it. I think it's over, actually, because of that. Uh, my no coin run is on YouTube. It's not over. I think we got it. Oh man, I'm sweating, dude. Losing that fire flower and getting pulled in by all the hands, dude. I think I just, I think I just nipped by. I 
Nice! Nice, we got it. New co-op! New co-op! You know, it's not like an official world record, but it, you know, it kind of is. It just kind of goes to show like what you can get. So that's pretty good. Yeah, that's world record, yeah. New co-op solo world record, sure. I mean, whatever you want to call it. 119.34, that's pretty good. And we can save more time. World six, we got a spade card game. World five, we got a spade card game. World five, six, and seven, we got spade card games. I'm pretty sure. Damn, if we didn't get all three hands, which has the easiest level, Mario Luigi. Uh, if we go this route, I think Mario has the harder levels. Big did I make big game, 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 big game